Welcome back to Sabrina's Workshop. Today I'm going to be making a diorama inspired by Star Wars, but also some of my other favorite things like Uncharted and Indiana Jones. So this is an abandoned jungle temple diorama. I'm starting out with XPS foam and carving that to make it look like brick. I have one piece for the stone wall and another piece for the base. I'm just adding some texture with tin foil, and then I'm gonna paint both pieces a dark brown. And then I have this weird stone wall lollipop thing, which makes it easier to paint because it was a real pain trying to paint the bottom of it. And then I'm just adding some dry brushing with some lighter shades of brown, just kind of progressively going lighter. And that dark brown is still in the recesses, so gives some nice texture to it. And then I remember that I needed a door. So a little late in the game, but I am carving out a door here and then making a little door frame for it. And I notch in some details for stonework to make it have just a little bit more dimension. And once I know that that all fits, then I just hot glue it into place. Here's an essential crafting supply, coffee. Coffee grounds make great dirt. So I just mix together some PVA glue, get all stabby stabby with the K-cups, pour that in there and mix it up until I have something resembling a nice dirt texture. Also it smells good, so that's a win-win. And then I just kind of smear that on with a popsicle stick until it looks appropriately muddy and dirty. I also wanted to make sure that this fit correctly, so just kind of kept eyeballing it and I eventually connected that with hot glue and then added some sand to the base. Then I used some PVA glue and some Woodland Scenics uh, greenery and added some flat moss texture. I also tried a new recipe for moss, which is PVA glue with the greenery, the foliage mixed in. And I actually like that a lot better. Um, it just kind of gave it some better texture and it looked more, more mossy. I also added some flat foliage and grass to the outside edge and did some dry brushing of a lighter brown on top of the mud to just give it a highlight. And then I also added some hot glue spider webs in the doorway, which were difficult, but I think they turned out nice. And then from there, I could just move on to placing all of the greenery. These little plants were from a $2 aquarium greenery pack. They're just fake plastic trees for your aquarium, um, but they worked really well as some tall brush. Then I also added some wooden scenic foliage, the thicker foliage for around the edges, just kind of build up the outer edge as it fades into the jungle. Almost all of this greenery comes from the Dollar Tree because you can find some really great seasonal fake plants and fake greenery for a dollar a piece. I added some dark green paint to the base uh, and inside the leaves just to give it some depth and shadow and then I also added some vines with yarn. 
Next up is the figure that I want. So in my concept, I have a girl standing there with a lantern or a torch in her hand. So I got to work on this little milkmaid figure, removing the bucket, uh, use a heat gun to mold the plastic so that she'll be holding her torch up in the air. And then I also use some epoxy sculpt to give her a nice little like cape or tunic, something more Star Wars appropriate. I broke off the very end of a toothpick and very carefully glued that in onto her hand and that will be the base of the torch. For the Stormtrooper helmet, I tried so many things. Star Wars Legion minis, I tried Legos, and then I just decided to 3D print this file I found on Thingiverse, which was kind of a pain, and I don't have video of my, me doing it because it was a long, arduous process, but I'm really happy with how these guys turned out. I then airbrushed them with some white primer, painted them white, added the details with paint, and added some weathering. I also painted the figure. And then I super glued them onto some toothpicks, painted dark, and stabbed them into the foam. And I also wanted to make sure that my girl figurine was going to sit in the right place, so I saw how that would look. And then I took a piece of wire and some hot glue and molded a little flame shape that the LED is going to go inside of. I got a nano LED from a store called Evans Designs. I will link that in the description. And they already come with a little resistor enabled and this one is a flickering orange LED. So I thought it would work really well for a torch. So separately, I. Bought some batteries and a coin cell holder for power, and I just soldered all of the connections together. And then I threaded the LED up through the base and eyeballed it to make sure it was at the right length for the girl's hand, and then I super glued the wires to her body. Then I connected the rest of the wires to the base with electrical tape. Not the tidiest job, but it works just fine. And then I painted the back of the battery case black and did some touch up paint on the wires and we are done. It's time for the glamour shot. Thanks for watching everybody. If you like this video, make sure that you like and subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for my next build.